us come back and see next reactions of your uh, PCL3 and PCL5. So basically you will be given reactions like this complete the following. One important logic you should remember is <coughs> whenever you are treating PCL3 with water or uh, your acid or alcohol okay let us write that. So whenever PCL3 is treated with either water or acid plus or alcohol you are going to get one common product that is phosphorus acid. H3PO3 is a compulsory product which you have to write. Whenever you are treating PCL5 with water or acid or alcohol, right? So let us write that water or acid or alcohol, the product which you get is phosphoryl chloride, that is POCl3 plus HCl is compulsory. Remember this logic, let's start with the reactions. Now, <laughs> I said you are going to take like uh, water. So, what is the product you get? H3PO3. How does it uh, form? Now, this is already three hydrogens H3PO3. Already three oxygens and three hydrogens are there. So, let us write phosphorus acid. Done. Let us write that name phosphorus acid. Now, what else is left? You are left with three HCLs. Let's see whether it is balanced or not. 3 chlorines, 3 chlorines, 3 hydrogens. So, already 3 hydrogens here, 3 hydrogens, so 6 are done. So, this is the product, remember, phosphorus acid. Now, here when you take your acetic acid, observe, this is your nucleophile here, Cl minus, this is your nucleophile, that is OH minus. Now, this Cl minus or this OH minus is replaced by your chlorine. What do you get? You are going to get a product called acetyl chloride, CH3COCl. Now, what else is left? I said compulsory you have to form H3PO3 try to prepare phosphorus acid now along with that this has already come out H3PO3 has already come out what else is left you still have just observe carefully you still have uh, your uh, HCl which is formed so write that HCl let's see whether I did it correctly or not CH3COCl okay three chlorines are done H3PO3 that is also done so what else is left? That's all. This is left. Nothing else is left. So when I have to come back to PCL3 again, this is your OH minus. This is a nucleophile. The Cl is going to replace OH minus, and what do you get? You get C2H5Cl. What else is left? You are left with H3PO3. I have not at balanced the reaction. Right, and now let's come back and start with your PCL5. <clears throat> so, what do we say? Whenever you're treating with PCL5 with either acid or alcohol or water, you're going to get the respective phosphoryl chloride. Now, here, what did we see in PCL3? We've taken three moles of water. Then, what did I get? I got phosphorus acid. Here also, you're going to take three moles, but remember, here you've got phosphorus acid, that is H3PO3. Here, you get phosphoric acid, higher oxidation state. Observe carefully. 3 okay PCL3 plus 3 moles you're getting phosphorus acid PCL5 plus water you get phosphoric acid so HCl is already there phosphoric acid done so next thing here I said you're treating PCL3 with acetic acid you're going to get phosphorus acid the same thing here this is your nucleophile your chlorine goes and replaces but instead of phosphorus acid you get POCl3 remember carefully you get CH3 COCl plus I said POCl3 plus HCl done I'm not at balanced so what is this compound called this is called phosphorus Ril chloride done let me come back and see this this is your ethanol this is your nucleophile the chlorine goes and replaces this what do you get you again get the same product just see only difference is the product are the same but here this is h3po3 there will be pocl3 simple everything is the same so you get c2h5cl plus <coughs> pocl3 plus hcl done the last one Whenever you uh, are taking uh, PCL5 plus uh, water, simple, nothing, no balancing, nothing. But remember, whenever you are treating PCL5 plus water, most important thing, you are going to get phosphoryl chloride plus HCl. 2 HCl, so 2. So 3 plus 2, 5, so 5 Cl's. So this is going to be how you are going to write. Remember one logic. Whenever you are treating this, you will get phosphorus acid. Whenever you are treating this, you get phosphoric acid. Second, whenever you are treating PCL3, you get phosphorus acid, same logic. Whenever you are treating PCL5, you get phosphoryl chloride. Yes.